got this. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Whiteboard in a Cupboard. Cupboard. I don't have a, I don't have a whiteboard marker. It's gotta be here somewhere. Ow! There's not much room in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Whiteboard in a Cupboard. Today we'll be drilling how to draw a cup because we're in a cupboard. Cupboard. So when I like to draw my cups, I like to take my hat off. <laughs> it's, it's really hot in here. You might notice that there's clothes in the way, but that's okay because we're in a cupboard. <laughs> the second thing I like to do when drawing a cup is to draw the body of the cup. And you make all the edges nice and round. We'll have this cup sitting on a flying saucer, obviously. We draw the handle. It represents how we've got a handle on our sanity. <laughs> this is a nice hot cup of coffee. You can tell because it has wavy lines coming out of it. Did you know that Popeye the Sailor Man had a girlfriend named Olive Oil? What a weird name. Let's rub this out and draw Popeye. I just realized that there's no undo button on a whiteboard. Ah, Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm just very quickly looking up some reference because I have no idea how to draw him. He's very ugly. First up, let's start with his nose. Close enough. And his mouth. He has an ear. Eyebrows. Yes! Pupil. Popeye the Sailor Man lives in a garbage can. Very good looking. It's weird banana body with some buttons. Very hot in here. Popeye the Sailor Man. It'd be really weird if your spouse was named after food. Cass's name would be Crouton because she's crunchy <laughs> and she's the yummiest part of a Caesar salad. We forgot um, Popeye's arms. I forgot. We just need to raise this up a little. These arms with big forearms. He doesn't have four arms. He has four arms. He's wearing a belt. It's, it's like 9,000 degrees in here. Take a drink. Golden Circle. Not a sponsor. That's enough of that. Goodbye, Popeye. Oh, actually, do you know what's really cool? My sister got me these. These are actual frames drawn by animators of Scuttle from The Little Mermaid. Isn't that cool? And it's like real and it has a certificate. Has a certificate on the other one. <laughs> Pretty cool. Not as cool as this one. Unfortunately, it's upside down. This is Jim Deer and he's from Beauty and the Beast. No? Lady and the Tramp. I knew it had two people in it. It's pretty cool. So very sweaty. You just stick your little finger out because then it's fancier doesn't quite work. Envelopeofawesome.com. How many times have you said envelopeofawesome.com today, Simon? Too many. The phone looks like a dog. I need to show you. You know, on the iPhone, the new iPhones, the iPhone, whoopsie, iPhone 13, uh, 3, thingamajiggly wogglies, and it kind of looks like a dog because it's, it's the dog, and then it looks like a dog. <laughs> it's a really cute dog. Maybe I can draw a tongue on the phone. I need to take a photo of that and show you. We can take a photo. Oh, I can use my other fancy phone. This one's fancy because it's pink. Video. Oh, look, you yeah, see, it's a dog. That's what I've been staring at for the past hour and a half. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, no. Envelopeofawesome.com. I don't know where the button is. Quick. Oh, my God. <gasps> okay. Now, don't smack your head this time. Oh, gosh.